how effing excited are you at this moment for a new Star Wars movie coming out later this year that looks to be seriously amazing? It looks mind-blowingly <laughs> awesome. The two teasers were spectacular. And I think the second one was even better than the first. Did you cry at the second teaser? I didn't cry. I was in a public place. <laughs> um, no, I was at a I Star Wars celebration. I was too. On a big screen. I was in the front row on the digital stage. And we're like, they were, I didn't get into the big, the main room. I didn't even try. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, you know, I was I in that sat room. in that room and I was, and they showed it twice. I mean, I, I, I loved it. It was, there's so many great nods visually and emotionally back to the stuff that started it all. I think it's going to be, the baton is going to be passed very well from six to seven. Um, from what I know, of things I shouldn't know. Yeah, um, uh, wait, I want to pause you I there. That's good. I want to pause you there. I personally am trying to live spoiler free, which is impossible in this day and age. Yeah, I can't even imagine how you're doing that. Right. I, I, I have managed to do it. Not I know some things, but I don't know like the, I don't know a lot. Okay. Are you just saying f it and you're going spoiler full? I am always spoiler full. Um, I don't care about the format the story is fed to me in. I want to know the story and the mythology. That's what I crave. So, <laughs> so you basically whatever you can learn. I, I honestly believe the reason I like the prequels more than most people is because I I didn't sit down and let myself be shocked by it. And you, no matter what that movie was, episode one, it was never going to be what you had in your head. So you're always built up for a letdown. And it was just... And um, I also read the book before the movie. I just wanted to know the story. I just wanted to know the journey of Anakin Skywalker. I wanted to see where he was going with it. And I think that allowed me to mentally almost prepare before I saw it so I could extrapolate as to how things were going to be strung together and tied into 4, 5, and 6 and fill the gaps between 2 and 3. And I think with this... Um, well, yeah, I've read all the... Uh, the speculation. I've read the spoilers. I have a lot of art on my computer. I shouldn't. Um, and, and I love it. You know, I just, I do think there has to be a reverence to one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the Star Wars saga. And this is the continuation of six film saga, not just three films. So whether or not you like the films, you have to visually reference them. There's a mythology to it. And it's Anakin Skywalker's story. He's a chosen one. It's the virgin birth. Um, and Anakin Skywalker has to have a part to play in these movies. You know, this is the third act of his life. This is a chance for him, maybe even as a spirit in one scene, to be the father he never was. Um, there's a lot of rich territory, so it doesn't have to be burdened by it, but it does have to um, be aware and not write off those first three films, which I think is dangerous. Oh, no, no, I agree with you. It has to acknowledge, it just has to. Unfortunately, and we've had very public conversations yeah. about this. In, in parking lots. Yeah. <laughs> right, in parking lots and very public conversations. Uh, I have strong issues with the first three films. Um, and I think my issues with them are just going to get stronger when we see Seven. And it's like, I don't, all I know about Seven personally is I have friends that are working on it hypothetically. And I said, all I want to know is, is the script good and how is it looking? And everything I keep hearing is the script's great, and the movie looks unbelievable. And these are from people that I trust. And the more I hear that, the more I realize, holy fuck, I'm going to lose my mind. I think the, the Roman numeral films are in great shape. I think um, the anthology films are just, you know, the big thing you want them to, to do is to respect that Star Wars is its own genre. It doesn't operate as a microfilm within another genre. Um, Star Wars is a beautiful amalgamation of... Western and sci-fi and serial and screwball comedy and samurai It's all tied together into something spectacularly new So Star Wars aren't just oh, we're gonna do our Star Wars film that is like this Or our Star Wars film that is like this Star Wars is its own genre So you better know that genre and that tone and it's okay to be goofy And I think you know you just want to make sure people are okay to be uncool because lines like you could use a good kiss aren't necessarily like <laughs> the consider the coolest aspects of screenwriting. And who are you trying to make the movie for? To impress your, your filmmaker friends? Or are you trying to impress, you know, uh, the legacy of Star Wars? So that's what I hope. I hope that everyone's going in there and saying, I'm making a Star Wars film. I'm not trying to, you know, be cooler than a Star Wars film. Listen, no matter what J.J. delivers... He's, good, he's in good shape. I just think it's everyone else that's coming through. And look, the Rogue One stuff looks cool. Yeah, no, I'm going to lose my Doesn't mind. have to have a lightsaber. It doesn't have to have a Jedi. But there is a, there's a tone and a texture... And, and, a, and a levity to a Star Wars film. They're fun. 
Sure. Listen, I'm I've never been this I haven't been this excited for Star Wars since 1998. It's an amazing time. It is unbelievable. Before, I'm theme sure parks, you, theme parks. Oh my god! Can you imagine going to eat? Please eat at the I, cantina. Uh, I, I, we, we're going to talk more off camera. But before I wrap with you, um, there's a few things that have you been you've been trying to germinate and, and Disney, cut the Avatar Land crap. <laughs> what are you doing? There's Star Wars. Come on! <laughs> it's all coming. Uh, Come on! What, what's the story with some of the other things that you're developing? Like I know you have a blacklist thing that you're doing with uh, Chewy. You know, yeah, like, not much has happened with that. You know, since the Disney acquisition, and I haven't really revisited it. I've been really focused on this. It's something you know. It's uh, it'd be tricky to navigate. Obviously, it's a wonderful script, and we did really great work on it. And it's really filtered through Peter Mayhew's eyes and Van uh, Ramachan and Evan Susser are awesome guys. And maybe we'll revisit. I don't know. It's not something I can really talk about or say too much about because there's not really any no, totally. current momentum on it. Um, I something get it. I love. But. Yeah, I think that would have to be done really independently with Star Wars and such the limelight, you yeah. know, by Disney and the and the powerful machine. Yeah, we'll we'll revisit stuff. <laughs> uh, what else is coming up though? Uh, I know uh, someone just did a music video recently. I did. Yeah, did a uh, video with Taylor Swift, who it's one of the you know, greatest collaborations. That girl is is a genius and even the music's not for you uh, what she's kind of created it's of her own will so everything that she does is of her own design there's no committee it's not like a lot of other pop stars and musicians where you feel like someone else is writing the music and she's just doing karaoke no she writes every song she is the architect of her persona she's a fantastic role model for young people you know I mean you can't I agree everything she does is impeccable and it's all filtered through her which is just so commendable. She's reached the top at 25 on her on her own merits and of her own design, and so that was fantastic working with her. And then she asked me to do um, work on her tour. So the tour that's just kicked off. There's some Kyle Newman stuff going on there. <laughs> uh, so we shot some interstitial elements. Every time there's an act break, there's I some, did not notice. There's some surprises going on with you know Lena Dunham and Cara Delevingne and Carly Kloss and Jamie's my wife sent Jamie King and Lily Aldridge and. Uh, Heim sisters and it's Selena Gomez in it. It's really fun. And then there's another visual effects piece we did in it as well. And so I've been busy for the last few months just working, last year working with Taylor, uh, which is. Awesome. I had no idea about that stuff. That's really cool. I work with her every day. I mean, she's the she's the coolest, and she creatively supports you. You know, if you say you need it, it's not like working in the film business <laughs> where people fight you over everything. Right. I'll, I don't ask for much, but I say I need it, and we find a way to do it. Uh, I got to end there and just say uh, I'm super happy for you. We will Thank debate you. Star Wars again soon. Uh, let me hit.